We did it. We brought back proof. How do you feel? Better. Maybe that sickness was nothing. What about the crown? You know the council will probably take it. No! We can't hide the fact that we found it with the Sorax. It's our loot. Ours. We have to declare anything of historical value. And they have the right to buy it. And if it's priceless? Come on, they can do whatever they want. Sure. I guess we'll see. Who fought the Sorax? Us or them? This could get spicy, chap. Alright, let's hear me. Morda. Clear skies, my friends. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Stay in the light, my friends. All right. So I guess we're going with this. So, oh, I guess he's uh, I gotta go talk to him then. Lord Karen. Ah, deputies. I see you found some nice shiny loot. So, have you brought us the head of a Sorak? One head, slightly damaged. The Raike preserve us. I'm sorry I asked. You should have seen it alive. I can only imagine. When's the next council meeting? When? But now, of course. The rumor of your return has already reached the palace. They're waiting for you. They are? Well, more for this. But come on. Now there's a trophy. And by the way, who's crazy now? All right, you were right and we were wrong. They do exist. Happy now? Kid, I've seen more than anyone in this town, yet nobody seems to believe me. Maybe it's a curse. The curse of being surrounded by idiots. If you don't mind, Merton, we have business to attend to. Right. Say hello to the old lady for me, Karen. Who's this guy again? Arwen Merton. He used to be a legend. The first scavenger, they say. But now, well, you can see for yourself. Who's this old lady? Just ignore him. Let's go. I don't know if I've unlocked an achievement. Your thoughts, Dean Facek? I, uh, well... It looks very much as the scriptures describe. Well then, it seems we have a problem. It's a disaster. We all know what the Sor Akat did on Tirmar. There's something else. What? A crown? Hmm, interesting. A very nice find. We don't want to sell it. Why not? You know we pay well. We want to keep it. I'd like to take a look at it, though. Come on. Let them take a look. Thank you. Any ideas? It's quite massive. Clearly Imperial in style. These ruins remind me of the Imperial Schools of Magic. I have a spell I'd like to cast on this. My lords, this deputy is clearly unwell. What? Uh-oh. What happened? You passed out. Where are we? The Temple of Einar. Marshal Beric Sunblaze himself invited us to stay here. We certainly made an impression on the Council. They believe you're attuned to the Crown. That you can't be separated from it. What? So, 
So it is cursed. They're not sure. All these big brains, and they're stumped. They cast spells on the crown, on you. Between that and the Sorax, we cause quite a fuss out there. They'll reconvene the council when you're ready. But trust me, there's a lot of people who want to talk to you first. Okay, so let's see if anybody's got anything. It's a very nice environment. No, oh, what's this guy? It's a giant statue here. Can we see it? Can we, can we look at it? No? Just, just get to clumsily scroll the camera, I guess. Alright. There we go. Hopefully nobody got seasick. Sunblaze, thank you for your hospitality. It's the least we can do for the deputies who prove that there are still Sorax on Celasta. You've proved we cannot relax our vigilance. Did you find anything else that could help us track them? There was a parchment. If you find it, send for the Char. You can read that? That last word, it's not Tamarian. It's in the Sorakath tongue. I knew it. It means general. You were wise to run. Also, the fanatics we fought near that old tower. They all had this tattoo on their arm. It seems to support the idea that they were working for the Sorax under duress. It is indeed one of their ways. Now this is the A of Erevet. Can you enlighten us? Between the myth and what we've seen, it's confusing. Of course. We paladins and clerics of Anar are the guardians of these memories. Our ancestors fought the war against the Sorakath. Their god, Sortar, gave them dark powers of treachery, mind reading, and shape changing. They infiltrated the human society, corrupted the hearts of men, at some point, everyone was suspected to be a Sorak in disguise. Distrust broke humanity. Sortar had won. He corrupted even Erevad, god of the Inquisitors. The gods themselves decided to run away from Tirmar. They opened the rift for the humans to escape to Celasta. Many of them didn't make it. It was a tragedy. At the sight of the rift, Thousands of Sorak tried to cross. Sortar himself tried. The rift was closed in a gigantic blast. Our kings and heroes, Manakalan's masters of magic, were all wiped out. So, how could Sorax have survived, escaped, and then thrived on Celasta? I suppose that's another one of their tricks. But for those who had survived the war, the Exodus. It was paramount to stay vigilant, to keep the memory alive. The memory of what Sorax were, what they could do, so that if one day they were to return, we'd be ready. I'm sorry to say, after a thousand years, only a few of us remain. Now, most people believe Sorax are a mere legend, but you brought us proof the Sorax are not extinct. How do they get people to worship them? They get into people's minds, learn their darkest secrets, their fears, their shameful desires. With that, they can blackmail, corrupt, and finally, recruit. It's much easier for them than to duplicate, and very efficient. We fought different ones. Do you know more? The bulk of their army are foot soldiers with poisoned spines. They breed a caste of albino priests able to cast spells. 
Some of them are deadly assassins, invisible, venomous. Others are giant brutes. The scriptures talk of elite warriors, anti-paladins, the Shikath. Can they really impersonate people? It's been proven, though it's a long process. They used to kidnap a target, study it for weeks, sometimes months. One of their chosen ones would transform into a perfect duplicate. Upon death, they would return to their original form. Well, that's all very scary, but thanks, it's going to help us. You're welcome, deputies. If you find anything else connected to the Sor Akath or their allies, bring it to the temple. Talk to Chaplain Delan Lark. You will be well rewarded. Whenever you're ready, the council will meet again. talk to these guys i guess there's a lot of uh, dialogue i'm still here but i don't like to talk over the narration it's an honor deputies who are you my name is maddie green isle i work for the tower of knowledge i'm just a junior aide in the council but if you ever need to contact my superiors without going through official channels just see me at the tower downtown why the sudden interest in us you proved yourselves in the badlands now, we in the Tower of Knowledge value skilled adventurers. If you find anything of historical value, we'll pay well. And, you know, if things go well, we might share some of our own secrets. All right, all right, we'll think about it. The important thing is that Burden got himself a hat. That's my takeaway here. Oh, apparently didn't walk over the right square. Uh, <clears throat> can I ask for a minute of your time, deputies? Uh, we're in kind of a hurry. I know. I won't delay you long. My name is Hedlund Shorspell. I represent the Arcaneum. And the Arcaneum belongs to the New Empire. Do you really want to be seen talking to us? Uh, my business is magic, not politics. And no, I have no quarrel with you. You may not see us Imperials as friends, but we take the Council very seriously. We are particularly interested in anything from the Old Empire that you might find in the Badlands. Anything from the Manakelan era Arcaneum. Even more so. Oh, of course, we'd pay you handsomely for this crown. Although, I know that's not possible. You're smarter than you look. Also quite indifferent to mockery. Anyway. We have an unrivaled trove of magical and other knowledge. Think it's over. You can find me at the Gravekeep's cask. Really? Not at the embassy? What can I say? I love Martel's beer, even though it tastes like donkey piss. What? How did he... That was our joke the first day we met. Was he spying on us? Maybe he just agrees about the taste. Hmm. Odd thickens. All right, so let's have a gander over here. I don't think I missed anybody. Any green aisle? All right, that's the door. Priest of eye notes. Can I walk over here? Hello? Door can't be opened. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, then. Let's launch some boys. So let's try this door. And we're 
report to the council. There we go. Sleep at the wheel here. So there's a lot of a lot of crap going on today. Have a moment, deputies. All right, but make it quick. I'll do my best. I am Joyel Foxeye from the Circle of Denantar. The same magic school where the princess studies? Exactly. Is she a good student? A powerful wizard? That's not for me to say. And you seemed to be in a rush? Fine. I just want you to know that our Grand Master Edvan Denantar has noticed you. He talked a lot, for sure. He's a man of great authority. He'd like you to know that our doors are open to you if you'd care to visit us. You can find me at Sunblaze Court. Interested in Badlands treasures, I suppose. Like everyone else. Well, if you ever come across old spell books or spell scrolls, we'd love to see them. In return, we have the largest collection of spells and potion recipes you could ever hope to see. More than the Arcanaeum? They would disagree, but yes. Now, if you were to prefer feeding the new empire's wizards with more magical knowledge than the principality, that would be a troubling choice to many on the council. Neutrality means we don't treat you any differently than we treat them. Of course, neutrality is the rule. Good day to you, deputies. So, return to the council. Now I've learned that the secret to returning to the council. Oh, we gotta talk to interface. Please go. Always check for the exclamation mark. Clear skies, my friends. Do you know Arwen Merton, the so-called first scavenger? Of course. That's it. Merton. It's a painful topic for me. I'd rather not talk about him. Fair enough. All right, now we get to talk to our Anne Winter Merton. Where the heck's he hiding at? I think this is the guy that was co-carnage. So we'll wait and see. Look who's here. The Sorak hunters themselves. It's Merton, right? Arwen Merton. Damn right. First scavenger. Where does that come from? Long story, kid. Short version. When we started crossing the marshes to the Badlands, I was one of the first. Now, I'm just the ugliest one left standing. What should we know about the Badlands? Any advice? Bring a good cleric, with good healing spells. You'll need them. You're a legend. Why do you seem so sour? Sour? It's this ale that's sour, that's all. The high and mighty council, paying clueless kids like you to go and get killed in the Badlands. But they're not asking good old Arwen, no. Go figure. It's because I got them figured out. Figured out? How? The Legacy Council is full of it. Acting all united and lovey-dovey while they plot to rob each other. Wouldn't surprise me if some of them were even Sorax in disguise. You know they can shapeshift. Uh, okay. Hey, I was right about them hiding in the Badlands, wasn't I? Oh. How close am I to leveling up here? What's what's even going on? 
چی داشتم So there has to be a way to see their experience. Just not sure what that way is. You also have got to be in like a camp to see it. Um. I hate these. Stop. I'm Keep trapped. him coming. Well done. That's good enough. Wait, what? Let's go back there. Do I see burglary in there? Let's... Oh, I'm apparently I'm proficient in thieves tools. I didn't know that. I should probably check these backgrounds. Potion making, additional languages, religious training, spy crafts, stealth and deception, raft diplomacy. There's first my nature in the poison juice kit, additional languages. Spy cipher. You learned a number of codes used by intelligent organizations in the Eastern Kingdom. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm mumbling. You learned a number of codes used by intelligent organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms and are able to decipher most of them. Interesting. And well, please tell me she's got. Oh, well, she's got potion making, religious training. That's something, I guess. And additional languages. Uh, it'd be nice if she didn't up up in training. Ability score increase plus one. Intelligence move trance. Keen senses, proficiency, uh, I can see in the dark, charm and immunity, uh, charm and a magical sleep immunity. I'm sorry, advantage against charm and immunity and magical sleep. There we go. Dexterity plus two. That's interesting. Shock arcanist. Huh. Halflings have brave, lucky, halfling nimbleness, ability score, increased charisma. Languages. Oh, dancing. Interesting. Combat training. Battle axe, hand axe, and war hammer. Heavy armor training. See, this would be handier if, if you made a dwarf and it was not, you know. Uh, go get. You were still filling your diapers when I killed my first ghoul. He's aged well if he's supposedly older than us. Alright, so let's just go slide around. These are the town gates. I should probably go and hit one of these people up because I need to hit the... I need to sell some junk. Offload some crap. So I don't think... So I can sell that. It gets me three gold. These are four. Tower of Knowledge will pay for that. Antiquarians will pay for that. Who will give... Who is more... The Arcanium wants that. All these people want that. Circle of Danatar wants that. Okay, so let's just... Conclude that for right now. Does she have anything of merit? Scroll of Bliss is probably going to be... Martial Weapon. Yeah, nobody uses a rapier. 